everyone, welcome to the health tip this week, it's Dr. Marco and uh, this week is just a general um, tip idea, so there's a couple of people I know that um, have jobs where they actually have to stand all the time. They don't have uh, chairs at their job, they might be uh, like on an assembly line or just the job that they actually have to be on their feet all day and they really not, uh, they don't have the ability to sit down really that much. But there's some little tricks you might be able to try to pull off to see if you can kind of relieve some of the tension or just kind of take some of the load off the back in certain ways. So here's a couple of ideas that um, just kind of came to mind. So one of the oldest tricks in the books is uh, they use it in uh, when you go to like uh, pubs and bars and things like that just to keep people there longer. There's a, there's a metal rail down at the bottom that allows you to put one foot up on it so that way you can relieve the, the constant tension on your back so that way you can shift the weight from one foot to the other. And that was uh, something they came up with a long time ago that keeps people at the bar longer and makes them make more money because you drink longer and you can stay there for a longer period of time. So if you have a job that you're standing and you have the ability to bring like a little step stool or something small, maybe that's maybe, I don't know, like 10 centimeters, 10 to 20 centimeters tall, that you could just put at the floor and it's not going to be um, a hazard for anybody. You know, you can just place one foot up on there and just change and shift the dynamics so that you're just not always loading both feet always at the same time constantly and that, that can just help relieve some of the tension. That's one of the quick things you can do. Some of the other things you can do, there's, um, there's an exercise I've explained other times called foundation training where you go through this whole procedure of activating what we call a posterior chain. So in that case, you know, if you don't mind looking silly or, you know, you don't care what, what you look like and you can kind of get into it, I would just say maybe do like the first half of it where you just engage the posterior chain by hinging at the hips and just going backwards a little bit and then it'll uh, add some tension into the hamstring muscles into the uh, into the back muscles a little bit. You don't have to do the whole procedure, but just doing that can help to um, you know uh, create some tension and relaxation through the whole posterior chain. That can be useful. Um, there's another thing, you know, when we have network care, there's a bit of a wave that goes through the spine, so you can kind of try to mimic that wave. And you know, it might look a little silly, but you just kind of like a, like a fish out of water kind of thing. And you just have the wave and just start down at your pelvis. You kind of uh, like tuck your tail between your legs and you kind of tuck your pelvis forward and then let that come back and then try to get a, a bit of a standing wave, we call it, going from your pelvis all the way up into your neck. So you're actually trying to, that's moving and relieving all the vertebrae and having them move and oscillate a little bit and that can help relieve tension and let go of the charge of having that constant sort of uh, pressure of gravity and kind of help release some of that tension through the back. Um, some other things you can do, you can also try the marching on the spot. Once again, make sure you're always doing it properly, that there's the opposite arm and the opposite leg or what's coming up at the same time because you need to be crisscrossing it. Sometimes people have a neurological um, misstep where they actually lift the same arm and the same leg and you're not supposed to do that. Make sure it's opposite arm and opposite leg. That can be something useful for that as well. So those are just some quick little ideas or uh, if you have one of those standing jobs and you need to relieve some of the strain on your back, try some of those things. And that's your health tip for this week. If that was helpful, please share, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.